Adventures in Dentistry. <laughs> Some of you might have seen, it was a couple months ago, I had complained about a crown um, still hurting that I had done at um, Comfort Dental. And I'm learning my lessons the hard way. So first off, I had um, my wisdom teeth taken out when I was like 12, 13, 14, something like that. Traditional uh, dental practice. And they screwed something up and closed it up with an infection inside. And I basically had a chronic infection in my body for like almost 20 some years, which caused a lot of cognitive decline and other health issues. Um, so had that done a couple years ago, cost around eight or 9,000 to have that fixed. Um, then my silly dumbass uh, decides to try to save a few bucks and go to Comfort Dental and they were fine when they were just doing cleanings and some, you know, some cavities. But then they said I needed a crown and I went ahead and decided to, again, try to save some money. And from the minute they started working on me with that crown, like, first off, the dental hygienist completely jacked my mouth up. I never had anybody be so rough with me before in my life. And then... Um, so for, and then from the minute they put it on, it's never been right. And so I went back in a couple weeks after I had it done and they immediately, they take an x-ray and immediately go to, yeah, you need a root canal. And I was like, no, that's bullshit. So I go back to my holistic dentist in um, Boulder, which I have a dental, I have two dental hygienists in Fort Collins that are both amazing. And this, uh, I know two uh, biological dentists in Boulder that are incredible. So I go back to see her and they take a bunch of x-rays and they can't really see anything wrong at the moment. They gave me some remineralizing toothpaste. They did fix my bite a little bit because I was hitting kind of high and said, if you don't feel better in a month, come back. So here we are, I'm back in Boulder, more x-rays. And they're showing that the crown is too short. And there's actually a lip on the other side that's allowing like air to get in and that's causing some pain. But she also thinks that because of my history with like detoxification issues and chronic health issues, that um, I'm sensitive to the material that they put in my mouth at Comfort Dental. See, the biological dentist can actually do this test where it tests your bodies against different materials to see which one's gonna be the most compatible for your body. So basically she thinks that my mouth is, I've, my body has completely rejected it since the minute we've got it in there. So the next step is to have it taken out. Um, so in a couple weeks I get to come back to Boulder have my crown removed, have a new temporary put on. We're going to do that for a little while just to see if it gets better. If it gets better, then I'll put a real crown on. If it doesn't get better, then I have to extract the tooth. What a pain in my freaking ass. And it all to save, you know, a couple hundred dollars to begin with. And I know better. I know better. I know better. Anytime I take the shortcut, the easy way, that's why I put these videos out. Educate yourself, folks. Sometimes the cheaper, easier, mainstream way is gonna cost you hundreds and tens of thousands of dollars in pain and suffering later. So, you know, go see the correct provider <laughs> um, and stay away from mainstream. A lot of mainstream stuff, unless they're a little bit more educated and a little bit more up to date in their education, but like mercury in your mouth, like whoever thought that was good, that would ever be okay. Like. Oh my God, it's caused so many health problems. So many health problems. Go see The Root Cause. It's a phenomenal um, documentary on holistic dentistry and, and what some of this traditional dentistry is doing to people's health. It'll blow your mind. Stay tuned.